Uh, thanks, Michael. That was good. Thanks for everything with us. Um, my name is Sintek Lee. Hi, Lim. Uh, this is such an honor to be here and present our work's time. And we deeply thank to Anne and Gabriel and Saga for this great help and support. So before um, going to the detailed project, uh, I would um, uh, briefly explain about the framing of our process first. So as you might know, our portfolio title was another constraint which makes uh, uh, our project different from others. Another constraint is a new perspective which has not been considered before and newly brought up and defined by ourselves. <coughs> so this is a very important threshold to initiate our projects at the beginning. <coughs> As we're looking at the diagram, we have uh, three steps. So first, uh, questioning and finding new constraints from a large context, even site, or social, uh, cultural, environmental, and economic economical phenomena happening around us in this time. So second, uh, providing a specific solutions based on that constraint. And then third, uh, comparing this solution with um, <coughs> precedent model. So through these three steps, uh, we can draw a solid conclusion with strong argument in the, under the theme of the no precedent this year. So based on these uh, narratives, uh, we're going to start the present uh, seven selected artworks. The first project is called Rocking Sukkah. It is a temporary outdoor installation for a Jewish festival which was built in Toronto, Canada. The site is located a little bit outside of downtown Toronto and it is covered with grass. We started questioning with the relationship between the footprint of temporal insulation and the ground condition. So in this diagram, you will see the large footprint with structural stability caused the ground damage after the installation. As, as the footprint gets smaller, the area of the damaged ground will be smaller, but structural stability will be decreased. So our challenge was to keep the structural stability and to minimize the ground damage at the same time. The proposed structure is kind of uh, a poly poly toy, which has heavy base and light top. So this is the like, summary of uh, how we developed the solution from the construction we found. The project consists of two main components, a platform and a bamboo screen. The platform consists of convex-shaped circular base and a built-in built chair. The bamboo screen comprises 90% of total structure, but it is light, just only 80 pounds. And also bamboo tapers from bottom to top, from one and quarter inch to a quarter inch diameter. This makes the structure very light towards the top. It makes the structure center of gravity stay low and gives the whole structure stabil stability. So some photos from the construction process. And this is a series of the photos showing the walking operation based on the time lapse. And photo fluorescent material is applied to top of the bamboo and it absorbs the solar energy during the daytime and then release a glow at night. In fact, as the bottom rotates, the top moves in a larger circumference, creating dramatically animated motion both day and night, and then it becomes an iconic suka around the site. The second project is called MP Steps. It is a temporary outdoor theater in Salt Lake City. Main goal of the competition was for a small amphitheater to reshape the MP empty lot through various urban activities. The project site is adjacent to the historic Capitol Theater in downtown Salt Lake City, and currently it is vacant. The project is necessary to accommodate the street performance and Salt Lake City's film festival as well. 
So we start to question how we can embrace these two distinct cultural events in one architectural object. So the diagram shows the relationship between stage and seat. And in the case of the film festival events, <coughs> and this diagram shows the relationship between seat and multiple stage in the case of uh, individual stage performance. So it really talks mainly about the orientations, so one to one or one to multiple. So we proposed movable seating units to accommodate these two distinctive conditions. The weight of the unit was very important key to develop this design. In order to reduce weight, we proposed steps filled with blue foam with tension wires instead of taking typical construction of wood steps. <coughs> In this system, two or three people can easily move and rotate the unit for their purpose. The project consists of 12 triangular prisms, which have differently oriented steps. It created not only one directional relationship between audience and stage, but also multiple directional relationship between people and multiple stages. The audience is not limited to one performance. They will be exposed to many vibrant stages simultaneously. This is the site plan, and we have two scenarios, A and B, based on the orientation. So A is one single bar by setting the site, responding to multiple speed performances. And B is the rearrange the steps oriented towards the brick wall in the case of the film festival. The MP step is a new type of urban fit amphitheater where many cultural events happen spontaneously. This unique mode of uh, experience on the steps creates a sort of uh, cultural hiking to diverse events in the urban public space. The project title is Bungie to the Scar. The project started from the very interesting site condition in Chicago. 150 stories condominium tower was stalled during its concrete foundation construction because of the economic crisis. The crisis left a big hole in the city. The question is raised, what can we do with this? The site is surrounded by water and the Lakeshore Drive is bisecting the construction site and the park. So usually the form reflects a problem or is molded as it gets developed. But in this project, the leftover form in the city looks for an alternative problem. So instead of modifying the foundation hole for a new plan, our proposal is to leave a hole as it was originally planned. So based on three conditions, first, taking advantage of the existing depth of the hole. The second, considering the relationship between economy and entertainment industry. And third, adjacent water resource. We proposed a temporary 1G recreation park. So the steel truss structures are stacked to each other and then connected to the existing concrete rims of each floor. So this is a view from top of the hole, and this is a view from the one of the bungee station, and it is a view from street gallery along with the concrete rings, and this is a view from the bottom of the hole, and this is a view frame at the very bottom of the hole creating upside down <coughs> relation, relation between jumpers and visitors. After the crisis is over, the structure will be disassembled so that the originally planned tower gets built on the top of the foundation hole as planned. The disassembled street truss, steel truss bar will be reassembled to a pavilion or another version of bungee jump structure in the park next to the hole. And it becomes a memoir of economic crisis. <coughs> 
The plot title is Opera's, which is about multiple scenarios inside of the building and toward the city around the site. The site, Busan, Korea, is a port city which has been developed so fast. So it is located right at the front of the water and it's surrounded by 1,200 feet mountain in the city side. The transportation hub is crossing the backside of the site and tall residential towers are developed around the site. With engaging the context of different heights, we tried to set up the height of the Opera House, which will be visible from neighbors, and define the public role of the Opera House as a performing object by itself. The Fry Tower, it has tons of background scenery, lightings, reflection panels, etc. <laughs> this all mechanical movements happening right <coughs> over the stage, but it is hidden space from outside. So we propose an elongated flight tower which reveals all the mechanical movements during the show to, to public as a new icon. So these movements give another opera to its high neighbors and play as a beacon to an international seaport next to the site. And someone living at a tall residential tower on the east side of the site is looking at the opera house. So there are two theaters in this opera house. This section shows how they combine the water and the city as a background during performances. Both main stages are provided with an operable folding back wall partitions to invite the cityscape and horizon of the sea as operatic backdrops. And this is a photo of section model. Uh, this is a view from water looking into the city. And some uh, several shots uh, in each space of the building <coughs> telling the circulation sequence. The opera complex will serve as a kind of cultural hurt among this dense and varied urban environment. It is a visible beacon between sea and land. As a, as a smoke from a factory chimney might serve as an icon of the city's industrial past, the elongated fly tower will serve as a cultural beacon for the city's future. The next project is Parallelogramic House Station. We proposed a new suburban typology triggered by high-speed rail system. The development of transportation method has influenced to the architectural types from a single house to urban fabric through history. And there has been a big debate whether the government should invest money or to develop the high money to develop the high-speed rail system or not. In this large context, we are asking what can we imagine the life at the high-speed rail in coming decades? At 20th century model, uh, the ty typical typology of suburbia house was developed with easy accessibility from car to house. Parallel Roaming House Station proposed a new structure of town including a big platform which gives easy access from train to house. So left, left side diagram shows uh, the current train station is located in the center of the town. In this model, commuters have to transfer from train to their cars or from their cars <coughs> to trains. The proposed diagram shows the periphery station which is reachable directly to the house. Two directions of railways are split to make a room inside, and it is surrounded by green buffer at Pavinger. Residential and public programs are placed in the center of the station. The proposal combines some of the benefits of urban and suburban life. House station would be located within one hour distance by high speed rail express between two major cities. And it, it provides residents with approximate access to both metropolises. The side length of the parallelogramic house station 
is defined by the length of the high-speed rail and number of cars. Each car drops residents and visitors on discrete lobby platforms. The pla platform then extends to the houses and areas of centrally located public programs, all located within the walkable distance. Car numbers are used to designate the street as part of the new address system. Passengers will take the car appropriate to their street. So high-speed rail becomes a part of the house. The house becomes part of the station. The station becomes part of the town. The town becomes a part of the landscape. The next part of the time is program metaphor. Uh, Post-crisis era, a unique time which gives opportunities to rethink and redefine the architectural industry. In this day's market, architects have become their own developers. Construction has become more cost and time efficient than ever. And clients and designers are more aware of how to generate the final, how to generate financially successful models. Based on this large context, project program the metaphor could be a new type of urban development considering financially and program programmatically efficient building systems. So the site has six buildings including an office, residential tower, a hotel, theater, retail space and galleries. The project is for redeveloping the whole district with the, with the required programs. But these separate building cores are not efficient because of the different core occupancy rate on weekdays, weekends, mornings, and evenings. So the project starts from the idea of combining separate cores into one shared mega core. The gigantic core supports different programs. It takes advantage of the inner space of the core by placing Windowless programs like large theaters, museums, gyms, and retail spaces. The window-based based program, office, residential, and hotel are placed in the at the perimeter of the core. So in summary, this approach drastically reduces the current ratio of the floor area to the core area and provides financial opportunities by creating more spaces for commercial occupancy. Based on the research of typical dimensions of each program's opening sizes and the ceiling heights, we started to organizing the programs in place, inside and outside of the core. There are three different types of program combination. So type, ha type A has office at the perimeter of the core and has gallery or gym inside of the core. Type B has residential at the perimeter and has retail inside of core. <coughs> Type C is combination of hotel which is located at the perimeter and then theater inside of core. The gap created by the different dimensions of program on perimeter and then in the core connect to the windowless program inside. These paths create internalized urban streets within a green, with green terraces and provide cross ventilation for other programs. Uh, different stack programs create a collage image of the vertical city through various window size transparencies and different depths of the shadow. The sheer surface of the encountered sky lobby and terraces emphasize the exterior textures through strong contrast. Small scales of urban fabric becomes a, an iconic city tower with maximized natural space on the ground. The last project is the Synastatic Census. Korean GSD student group was invited to submit a seven foot cube insulation regarding a Korean traditional garden wholesale one for 2009 Gwangju Design Biennale. 
We led the team from the beginning to the fabrication at two cities, Cambridge and Guangzhou. The Korean Garden Sousa One provides diverse visual experiences for visitors to enjoy with their movements. The garden provides many sensual experiences, including visual corridors, different types of natural ventilation and air movements, a constant play of light and shadow, and also the sounds of the bamboo as they respond to the wind. These diverse experiences create an emotional atmosphere to Sose One, which closely tied to human senses to the mi micro nature of the garden. So we started the project with questioning how we can simulate the experience of Sose One <coughs> in other contexts. So based on the features of the Sose One, we tried to make an open pavilion that provides synesthetic <coughs> experience of bamboo forest. Within the given size of seven feet cube, we proposed a controlled field of 500 springs that create sound making surface, different level of forces, and visual transparency at the same time. So we found three different values when we, when we stretch the spring. First is force, stable versus tensional. And second is visibility, opaque versus transparent. And third is sound of pitch, low versus high. 500 springs have all different lengths from 18 inch to 5 feet. So this diagram shows the, the springs are distributed into the cube with uh, different information of tension, transparency, and sound. And these drawings visualize three senses that people can experience with 500 springs in the box. This is a series of photos from 3-inch scale test model. Unfortunately, the test model was broken after two days because of the stronger tension than we expected. So we had to recalculate the tensions to reduce the force and customize the spring after testing several samples and markers. Also, we have to reinforce the slabs and columns as well. So this is the calculation what we did for the uh, one-to-one -one model. So I'm going to show the construction forwards. Um, these are two slabs, top and bottom. And a uh, moment connection between columns and slabs. And this is the top surface with grooves to accept the steel doubles. So tensions automatically make the springs and steel doubles to be placed in the groove with, without any voting. This is a view looking at bottom slab. And this is view looking at the top slab. And now we use a series of photos when it's occupied. While people pass through the box, they will experience with the three different senses. Also, they will enjoy artificial bamboo forest and take a rest in the middle of the box, which is translated from the Korean garden so say long. So we're going to wrap up the presentation with this photo taken from the gallery right next to the room. Um, it was such a great opportunity for us to look back our past two and a half years words. Uh, through the prize, we re-evaluated our words and also we started uh, defining ourselves uh, for like, the past three, two and a half years. 
It's not completed yet, but uh, we believe this will be another starting point um, as a evolving young architect for our future. Thank you so much.